game up hard hydration. It's like your favorite sports drink and your favorite seltzer got together, had a baby, but it's so much better. Four great flavors. Dave's going to give you the stats. Hey, you talking about variety. We got to talk about fruit punch, orange, lemon, lime, and grape. Like Joe said or didn't say because I was too busy sharing. 110 calories, low carb. Get yourself some game up because it's the hottest fucking game drink around i'm so excited <laughs> let's go baby i was going back through the comparisons that dave put up recently and i saw one that was interesting we did ron simmons last week so this we are going to talk about ron simmons and earthquake yeah. and to the casual fans i think they would go just immediately with ron simmons being that college athlete being that powerhouse having such a long career but when you look at john tenta on the other side i mean sumo wrestler much like yokozuna i'd say good in the ring and quick for given his size throw a drop kick exactly and how big he got in wwe he was able to stretch it out to wcw what i love about this too is quietly i've noticed looking at our uh, numbers and some of our algorithm is when i start doing these comparisons ron simmons ones have been hitting our audience for some reason and we get a decent response out of all the ron simmons ones and i love it it makes me want to do more because ron especially this wcw time period i feel like is so underappreciated in the big scheme of things but i have such a soft spot and I love that WCW world title reign he had over Vader. In the ring, bell to bell. Simmons probably a little more explosive power-wise. Who the hell knows? Different type of strength we're talking about. If this was a real fight, like in the back area of a locker room, somebody actually mentioned this in the comment. Like, it would have been more interesting if we said, who would win a shoot fight? And it's like, I don't know. Because nobody messed with Ron, apparently. But Tenta was like that other dude that nobody really liked to mess with. In ring-wise, I'll go with Ron, but it's super close. You could argue Tenta, too. Different styles. In a shoot fight? I don't even know where to begin. That would be amazing, though. That's a good question. I'm going to uh, shoot fight. I guess I'm going to have to give the edge to Ron Simmons. Mm -hmm. Although close. it could be a coin flip. Tenta Talk about... Good night. Yeah. And if you talk about in ring, it's tough because Simmons had that world championship run. I mean, Earthquake was a tag team champion, was very good in the ring, but never, never held that top spot. Didn't mean he wasn't worthy of it. Yeah. He just never made it to. Mm. Had that great run with Hogan, too, as a main event. Yeah, I'm going to give the edge to Earthquake just because I feel like sumo over football, like maybe just by a little bit. This is a match I would have loved to have seen. You know, yeah. I can't believe we didn't see it. Tenta had really good success in sumo young. I think if it wasn't for money, that's why I went to pro wrestling. But Ron Simmons, four-time All-American in college football, too. So you're talking about people that are ever successful at a high level before they even got into pro wrestling. If you haven't tried Game Up, then you are missing out. Imagine your favorite seltzer and your favorite sports drink had a baby, but it's way better than that. Each can is 110 calories, low carb, 4.9 ABV. It's a nice light drink that is not light on flavor. Game Up comes in fruit punch, orange, lemon, lime, and grape. Pick it up at drinkgameup.com or at your nearest liquor store.